Hi, everyone. Welcome back to Life Talk. We are uh, talking still in this mini series with Jennifer Navarrete. We're talking about podcasting and so many options out there. Jennifer, welcome to Life Talk. Thank you for being here. Thrilled to be here. You know, you're talking about my absolutely favorite topic. I can't get enough. Amazing. <laughs> I, I, I can tell. I mean, every time you talk about podcasting, your voice, uh, you know, like full of life. So <laughs> I, 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 I believe, I believe you that, that you are a true um, podcaster, a true evangelist, as you, you describe yourself, you know, for podcasting. And if people are following this series, I think they already know uh, that you are really excited about mm -hmm. this today. Uh, we we went. I I would like to talk about um, the blockchain, and I'm sure a lot of uh, a lot of our people, the people that are watching this, they already heard, they already have an idea uh, of what the blockchain is. And if not, this is a great opportunity uh, for that. We both are in the blockchain, in the Hive blockchain, and. Uh, and uh, and this is a great option for creative people, and specifically, we are uh, talking to to. Uh, I mean, not only, but it's, you know, we're talking about podcasting. But the blockchain is a great opportunity for creative people. Uh, mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that. I mean, you've been on the blockchain for for some some time, right, Jennifer? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I first looked at the blockchain back in August of 2017 and wrote a few posts. It was a not Hive, it was a different blockchain. Mm -hmm. um, they call it the legacy chain. The legacy. And, and I uh, didn't find community and I didn't have anybody really. So I was like, meh, and I walked away. But when I looked at it again in March of 2021, all of a sudden I'm like, hey, this is pretty robust. And there was mm -hmm. a wonderful community. And I had a great guide and my friend Shane Mata, mm -hmm. my family joined with me. So I wasn't joining by myself. So right. we could kind of fumble around together and share what we were learning. And so there was a real nice quality to it the second time that I took a look at creating content on the blockchain. And I think the thing that really struck me was how many different kinds of content I could create on the blockchain. In that original attempt in 2017, I could blog which is mm -hmm. fine. I mean, I blogged anyway, mm -hmm. but in this new version, I could do social media. I could podcast. I could do video. I could live stream. I could right. upload photos. I mean, it was like, whoa, everything I'm doing on Twitter, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, on Instagram, like all of the places where you do the things, right. I could do it on the blockchain in one place, you know, the one account that would allow me to do it on all the dApps. Right. And so it was a big learning experience, but I wasn't doing it alone. I had a guide and I had my family that again, stumbling along, figuring it out as we go along. Right. And, and I really liked the fact that I could do those exact same things, but in this new destination with the opportunity to own and potentially earn mm -hmm. from the content, no guarantee, no right. guarantee right. that I was going to earn, but maybe I could, and I found that to be intriguing and attractive. And I just leaned all in. Mm. And now I've gone from being someone who's like, hey, this is kind of cool to being an evangelist, talking about this to others. Because right. if you're a creator, this might be something for you to seriously consider. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. I mean, that's how I got in. I mean, I've been next, no. Oh yeah, already next month will be my first anniversary, and uh, yeah, I am very excited and, and I'm convinced. I mean, I was a little bit skeptic at the beginning, but I was willing to try it, and um, I, I haven't looked back. Haven't looked back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, but uh, uh, well, I mean, the blockchain in and of itself is a little bit intimidating for mm -hmm. those who are not familiar with that. What should someone let, let us you know? Right now, sure. there is a podcaster that is watching us as like, oh, I would like to try that. I mean, what will be the process? I mean, I, we can do, a, this is not a tutorial because then we need to do something very very different than. Yeah, yeah. But we'd what, have what, to screen share and do all that stuff. So right. I'll just say, if you're a creator and you're watching this and you're like, you know, I'm a podcaster or I am a blogger or I'm a video blogger or I live stream or I'm all about photos or whatever, whatever kind of creator that you are, there's a place for you on the blockchain. So having said that, what does that mean for you? I would say, think about the one type of content that you absolutely love to create. That if I said you can only create one kind of content, what would it be? 
In my case, if we're talking about social media, it would be microblogging because I'm all about Twitter. And right. in this case, now microblogging on the blockchain, which is Dbuzz um, or Leo Threads or any number of others. And th in this case, for me, if it was media, it would be podcasting because right. I'm all about that podcasting. So if I had to choose and narrow it down, I would start there. Think about that and then take a look what, at what's available on the blockchain. And I will say, to me, my best advice that I think that I can give you is if you're hearing about this for the first time, get into sponge mode. Soak mm. up all the knowledge because there's a lot to learn. There's terminology. Mm. There's a lot to figure out. What are the do's and don'ts? And how do you, how does this happen? And how does this work? There's a lot of questions. So mm. take your time. There's no rush. Right. There's a lot of blockchains. Which one should make sense for you? Mm -hmm. What are you going to do on there? What is all this terminology? Like, what does DAP mean? What does DeFi mean? What is, you know, all mm -hmm. that stuff. Take your time. Find mm -hmm. someone who speaks plainly. If you're mm -hmm. watching this, then this is probably a show that you should lean into and get more information from. If there are guests that are that are being interviewed, maybe like myself and others, mm -hmm. get connected with them. Learn more about what they're doing. Find the people who are speaking plainly that where you're like, I don't understand everything they're saying but mm -hmm. I understand some of what they're saying and I like the way that they're sharing that information. Mm -hmm. So let me get to know them, get connected with them on mm -hmm. traditional social and learn more about what they're doing. So get into sponge mode first before mm -hmm. you ever take action because there's plenty of time to get mm -hmm. into it, but it's important to learn and find what works for you. That's right. I mean, that's what I did at the beginning. You know, I, uh, I, I devour, devour uh, so many tutorials on Hive because I, you know, I, I it's Hive uh, caught my attention right at the, at the beginning. So I, I watched the tutorials. So like, well, I think I, I would like to try that. So that's what I did. <clears throat> and then I opened an account and, um, and, uh, and the rest is history. <laughs> the rest is history. The rest is history. Uh, it's a little bit different. So I think every, everyone should do, the, what is your phrase? I, lo I love your phrase. Do your own due diligence. Yeah, do your own due diligence and research. And you'll hear mm. that a lot in the Web3 space. There's a reason why, because there's a mm. financial ramification and implication and impact right. when you get on the blockchain. Mm. So you have to really be mindful of how this works for you, which is why I say get into sponge mode, learn, mm. learn, learn, make sure it makes sense for you before you ever take action. And mm. I can tell you, there have been folks that have been listening to me talk about this for the last maybe two years. Mm -hmm. And they're now just barely jumping in and starting mm. to join, but because they did take their time, which I applaud them for. You shouldn't jump into this all crazy. You mm -hmm. should jump into this measured and thoughtful and take your time. Once you're in to allow yourself the time to get to understand the blockchain and for, to mm. learn the community and for community to learn you. Mm. I, and I would say as a podcaster, what I found fascinating was that just like there's Apple podcasts and Spotify, mm -hmm. there's places like that on the blockchain in right. the high blockchain. It's called Ariel. Mm -hmm. It's a podcast dap and mm -hmm. I can put my content there and it will be on the blockchain that people can listen to. They can upvote, they can reply, they can comment, they can tip. It's like, wow. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, it, it is. Um, the, the 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 great thing that I found and the that the key, I guess that's that's the thing that kept me here. It was the, the community, the support that I found because at the beginning you're like, oh, what am I? So uh, that's a good thing. Um, and uh, and I'm gonna leave uh, my referral. Um, yes. link uh, on the description because with that, um, I. Uh, I might, you know, well, I can give you from my experience if you ever uh, need help. I mean, Jennifer is also on the, on the hype blockchain. Uh, we are connected through different servers and Discord, and uh, and we help each other, you know, and mm -hmm. we, we support each other, uh, asking questions and giving our, you know, from our, our experience and so on and so forth. And so I can only advise to, to really uh, to uh, get into. Uh, discord and uh, into the different uh, discord for sure but uh, another reason why you want to use the referral code is because then what will happen is when if you're watching this and you're like sure i'm going to click on that and use a referral code is because then then he'll get notified mm -hmm. right? That, that, right that you've signed on and then he can be your guide mm 
I can tell you that um, as I had a guide, I am a guide to others. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to make sure that they're successful. If they have questions, I want to make sure they can ask. As a matter of fact, last night I was getting questions about DBuzz in, in my Twitter DM box because people know that I'm a podcaster in both places. And then this morning I was, of course, I didn't get it until this morning. And so mm -hmm. this morning I was re replying with screenshots of like, here's where you find this and here's where you find mm -hmm. that. And, oh, you might want to go join them on Discord. Why? Because I asked those questions of mm -hmm. my guide. Right. And I mm -hmm. think that's the really nice thing. You mentioned the community on, on, in our experience on Hive, mm -hmm. I'm sure other blockchains have yeah. as rich and robust communities as well. Mm -hmm. So please don't feel like, oh, well, if I'm not here, I won't get community. No, no, no. no. Every blockchain has it. It's you'll, mm -hmm. you'll get it. But when you become a good guide when you have a good guide you'll be a good guide you can be a good steward of the blockchain you can be someone who is welcoming to mm. others and i think that's really the magic there yeah i just love it yeah now i i, I wouldn't have survived without uh, without uh, you know uh, dream port without the terminal and yeah. uh, and, I, and it you know it, lately i i, I uh, it isn't see itself so mm -hmm. Uh, oh, there yeah. are different essence is very robust who so many things that you can do just amazing. on that one dap alone <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah amazing well um jennifer um every i mean your contact information will be also on the description box for those who do not know you uh tell us uh i mean you're a coach i mean you're a podcaster but you you train people you coach people in the art of podcasting uh tell mm -hmm. our audience a little bit about what you do so if you have an idea and you're like, I have this great idea for a podcast and I'd like to get it out into the world, but you know, I don't know what microphone, I don't know what kind of software, mm. I don't know how long my show should be. Should I have a co-host? And if we are, how are we going to record that? You know, all of those questions that you have, if you want to start a show, mm. I'm someone who can help you figure out what's going to work for you. And that's really the key. Just because other people are doing it this way, if it doesn't work for you, you won't stick with it. And I would rather have you create something that that is manageable and sustainable over long term that works well to get your mission and message out to the world than something that is that you're doing like someone else but yet it's really not realistic that it's something you can sustain so the key is really listening to what it is that you're trying to accomplish understanding what your goals are understanding what equipment and tools you have mm -hmm. and really your time frame right you maybe you want to release something every week but maybe you just want to do a few seasons a year and any of that works as long as you set the expectation so that you're audience knows what to expect and i'm here to help guide you in that process there we go so if you need a coach jennifer is the the right one for you many years of experience 18 years of experience that's amazing i mean i cannot yeah. even and if i'm not the right one for you i know so many <laughs> others in this business i can refer you there to someone go. who is there you go so get in touch with her and uh and then hopefully we'll see you soon uh in one of those uh uh, different uh, servers in Discord or in the blockchain, of course. Um, well, we have come to another uh, to the end of another episode of, of uh, Live Talk. Jennifer, as, as our custom, it, uh, what can you tell us as we depart this time? A word of encouragement for our future podcasters. <laughs> Don't let the tech get in the way of your message. Don't let it find the people who can guide you, do your research, figure it out, but go because even if all you have is a phone, there's apps. Mobile plus apps is a perfectly great way to podcast. Don't feel like you've got to have, you know, oh, I have to have a microphone. Oh, I have to. No. Do you have a phone? Download an app. Launch your podcast today. Get your message out to the world. Very good. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Until the next episode, we wish you all a successful and blessed day. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye, y'all. -bye. Bye,